what's with this word big? I think it actually is appropriate to start hanging that word in front of data and to talk about a regime change. And to uh, make that concrete, I'm going to borrow a, a factoid that I heard from Eric Schmidt at Google. He said, every two days now, we are generating as much data as we did from the dawn of civilization up to the year 2003. So by that estimate, wow. that's five exabytes of data, which is five quintillion bytes of data. And a quintillion uh, is a one followed by 18 zeros. It's this number that's impossible to get yeah, your mind you. around. Right, so forget about it. And, you know, it's even bigger than the debt numbers that we're throwing <laughs> around these days. But it Not is something's this, bigger than that. Something, yeah, <laughs> data is even bigger than debt these days. This staggering amount of data in digital form entering the world every couple of days. And that comes about for uh, because of a, a number of factors. One is web traffic generates just masses of volumes. All the clicking we do mm -hmm. leads to these huge web logs. User-generated content is a, just a flood of data coming in every day mm -hmm. uh, with Facebook status updates and searches on Google and tweets that we put out there and videos that we upload to YouTube and podcasts. And all this stuff is just adding up. In addition to which, there are specific industries, life sciences is a mm -hmm. great example, where now you are I could get our genome sequenced for under a thousand dollars. So we're in the era of mass genome sequencing. The human genome consists of about three billion base pairs of DNA. So when you sequence it, you have a, a huge amount of information for every one of us, let alone when you start to add all that stuff up and when you start to combine it with other kinds of healthcare information. So the, the, the data deluge is, is absolutely ridiculous. And it's coming at us quicker and quicker all the time. For example, when Apple launched the new iPad just a couple days ago, there were on the order of 10,000 tweets a minute during the launch announcement that had the word iPad in them. So, so we haven't been here before. This is a new regime of data availability for the world and certainly for the business world. And what does that mean for me as, a, as an executive? How do I develop processes that can handle, make sense of, gain competitive advantage from that much data? We're, we're just learning the answer to those questions. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a big deal and an even bigger deal. Mm -hmm. And the big deal is what any decent statistician would tell you, which is that with, a, with more observations, in other words, with just more data, you can get more subtle insight, more nuanced mm -hmm. insight. You can find more and more things inside the data. It's like your magnifying glass mm -hmm. gets better. And a great example here, is recommendation engines and personalization engines on the web where the more Amazon knows about me and the more that after years of shopping there, they've got this huge amount of data about me and my clicks and my preferences and the things that I've looked at. Mm -hmm. They also have parallel information about millions of other people and their Amazon shopping history. If you get intelligent about that, you can refine the, hey, have you read this book? You might want to buy this piece of, of geek gear as well. Mm -hmm. And most of us are really impressed by how good those recommendations are, it's because they're taking advantage of this great magnifying glass and just huge amounts of data. That's the big deal. Mm -hmm. The bigger deal is that not only can we get more subtle kinds of insight, I think we get entirely new kinds of knowledge in a big data world. The uh, guys at Google realized a while back that people start typing in words related to flu when their kid gets sick. Mm -hmm. That actually turns out to be a really good predictor of how the flu is spreading across the country. Mm, and for a while now, the Centers for Disease Control has been trying to monitor the spread of the flu during every winter and give heads up to hospitals to say, hey, you might want to get ready. They learned that Google is at least as accurate and at least a week earlier than the CDC wow. and the previous best methods by the pros. Yeah we are, are substantially improved on by this completely ragged, individually generated, freely available Google search data. So this is the kind of insight that we're going to be able to get in a big data world that, that was unavailable in the previous world of just data. That's why I'm incredibly excited about it. I think that in the big data era, there is a whole new orchard of low-hanging fruit that's going to open up for, for companies and researchers. We should be super excited about it. IBM, for example, thinks that big data is going to be bigger than any other business they've come across, bigger than the internet, bigger than the PC revolution. I think that might not be hyperbole.